Hi all, this is Max from Xenomax.com and I've got the uh, Samsung Epic here. So today I'm going to do uh, Samsung Epic 4G for dummies. First of all, if you don't know how to use the phone, let me show you some of the features. There's a power button, not there, here, uh, which you can use to sleep the phone. Turn it on, you'll have to swipe up or down to unlock, as you can see, and also there is a volume button, ringer volume, that's how you use it. You can get it to vibrate or you can get it all the way up. So it will annoy you every time someone just calls you. And also, if you want to do like media, let's say you play uh, some videos. So let me, uh, for videos, you can go to gallery and let me play a video and you can adjust the media volume while it's playing. Oops. Let me do this one. No, no, not that one. While you're playing, you can adjust the, the volume of the media. And it will actually work across the whole thing. Whether you're watching YouTube, but you have to be in some kind of media mode. So, alright. And you have the main screen here. You can see tell by the dot up here. You can go to the right dot. See the dot moved. You go one more, you have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven main screens where you can put different widgets. Let's say I want to put the game here, the Asphalt 5, and I can hold on to the button and go here, or I can go to another screen and put it here. So, and let me show you how to put the widgets, or let's get rid of the widgets, hold on to the widget, and put it in the trash can. And then we can do a long press and we'll put Samsung widget. There's a bunch of widgets you can get on Samsung right now. Feeds and updates, uh, that's for Twitter and stuff, calendar clock. That might be good. So you have the calendar and the clock. And let me go to another screen that has nothing. Let me get rid of this, buddies now. And you can do a long press. Let's put an Android widget. Let's put Facebook and that covers half the screen so you have room for NASCAR maybe okay and you can configure the NASCAR but nobody uses this so we're not gonna install anyways we can go to the last screen on here on the right and one of the widgets I highly recommend is the power control widget which you can move to the top like this and you can turn on the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the GPS the sync for your Gmail and Twitter and other stuff and you can also adjust the brightness and this is Android 2.1 when you get Android 2.2 you'll get an update message and you can upgrade your phone upon the time where well, you have a choice to use the automatic brightness but I still recommend the manual brightness because it's faster and you can put it even lower you need to. So usually I usually turn the sync off, the Bluetooth off, and the Wi-Fi in. Sync for Gmail, I usually turn it off unless I have important email coming in. And I also even turn off GPS if I'm not going to be driving my car for a month or so, but I usually leave it on. And you can leave the Bluetooth on if you tend to use your Bluetooth headset a lot. That's highly recommended. And what else can I tell you? You can also, since this Android 2.1, there's a lot of background process running. So you'll want to go to Android Market and download Task Killer or Task Manager. We'll just do Task and Search. And download Advanced Task Killer, which is the highly recommended for any 2.1. Android 2.1 phone and this is an Android 2.1 phone and if you have Android 2.2 Froyo you won't have to need for a task killer because it automatically does it for you and you can also kill tasks under settings applications but without the task killer on Android 2.1 you will have problems so it's better to get the task killer so you can kill all these apps now if you try to kill it again and you can do you can put the advanced task killer somewhere on the front page 
So you can always access it and make sure there's only one other process running and kill those apps too. So you never waste battery life. And what else can I show you? So that's basically how you can use it. Um, you can go to the market, download all these free apps, games, Gmail. Always use Gmail because your contacts are synced to your Gmail account. That's the beauty of using an Android phone. And also your calendar is synced across the cloud. And I have five Android phones. <laughs> five Android phone. Five Android phones that sync my Gmail contacts and my email. Sorry, I'm a little buzz here. And we got the YouTube. Don't use the YouTube uh, app because it doesn't have high def, high quality. You just use go to m.youtube.com for the best quality YouTube videos. I thought you knew that, so I told you why. And for camera. We've got the easy button to switch from camera to camcorder to camcorder. And there's a bunch of cool stuff like uh, you can change the scenes. You can do macro on here, of course. Actually, that's for camcorder. Uh, you need to go to the camera. Okay. Anyway, I can't find it here, uh, but I'm sure York, you can. But that was how to use the Samsung Epic 4G phone. I hope you enjoy my videos and I'll have more tips. And also don't forget to check out SamsungEpicHacks.com so you can get free Wi-Fi tether like I do. And tether your Samsung Epic 4G's 3G or 4G for free without paying $20 to Sprint using Android Wi-Fi Tether. And also you'll need to root your phone which is a pretty easy process it only take you 10 minutes. Anyway that was you all from ZetoMax.com